Hi all, I am Roberto Neri and uh, we have reached the, the third part of my audition for the professional musicianship course. This is a theory part, so we're, uh, we are putting down a bit the guitar and we're focusing on, more on theory. Uh, we'll be talking about scales, about chords, intervals, uh, the cycle of fits and a bit of uh, tempo and the note values. And so let's get started and uh, we have here a C major scale reading. We will obviously start with the scales, uh, scales and chords as well because uh, we'll uh, harmonize the scale in a bit of time. Uh, we have this C major scale uh, which uh, as we know has a major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth and major seventh. And uh, it's the most used scale. And let's see how the chords of the scale are by harmonizing it by thirds and obviously diatonic thirds. Let's start with the first grade, yeah, which is obviously the C. First grade. Uh, we get a chord with a major third, a perfect fifth, and a major seven, and this is called a major seven chord, and it's written in many different ways. I am used to write it like this, with a delta. And the second grade, the D. Uh, we have. In this case, a minor third, a perfect fifth, and a minor seventh. This is this chord is called a minor seventh chord, so it's a D minor seven. And the third grade has minor third, minor seventh, and perfect fifth as well, so it's another minor seven chord, an E minor seven. The fourth grade, the F, fourth grade, uh, we have a major third, a perfect fifth and a major seventh, so it's the same as the first grade, it's a F major seven. The fifth grade, which is a very important grade, uh, the it's so often it's more important than the fifth, the first grade. The first, the first, the, the fifth grade, G, as a major third and perfect fifth, so a major triad, but the F is a minor seven. This is called a dominant chord because the fifth grade is the dominant grade. And it's written like this, with just a seven, because when we write seven, we we know that we mean a minor seven. Uh, sixth grade, the A. Sixth grade, the A minor third, perfect fifth, and a minor seven, so another A minor seven chord. And the seventh grade, another important grade, it's uh, uh, the B with a minor third and diminished five, so a diminished triad, and the minor seven. So seventh grade, it's a very strong chord, very unstable, and it's a half diminished B. Okay. And then again we have the C, which is uh, as the first grade is uh, major C major seven. And these are the chords we can find in the major scale. Uh, we have seen also a bit of intervals. Uh, I would like to start speaking about the cycle of fifths, but uh, to get to that point we need to talk a little bit of about the major scale. So let's write again all our scale. 
uh, as we said, the major scale has a precise sequence of intervals, the major second, major and third, and all. And uh, if you look at the intervals between uh, all the grades, so between first and second, between second and third, and so on, we find that we have a full tone, one full tone, between the first and the second grade, and another one full tone between the second and the third. We have a half between the third and the fourth, and then again, one between fourth and fifth, one tone between fifth and sixth, one between the sixth and seventh, and another half tone between the seventh, seventh, seventh yes, and the, the first, the tail. And this is characteristic of the major scale, the major mode, the Ionian mode. Um, if we decided to apply this uh, sequence of intervals to uh, the fifth grade, to the scale starting by the fifth grade, so let's see this scale, don't fall down please. Uh, the fifth grade is the G, so we start with the G, then A, B, C, D, E, and then, and then again G. So, as it is, this scale, with the same uh, alteration as the C, C major scale, we have uh, between the G and the A, we have one tone. We have another one tone between the A and the B. The half tone between the B and the C, or uh, the third and the fourth grade, is the same. Uh, it follows the scheme we have in the major C major. Then C, D, one tone. D, E, one tone. And reaching the seventh grade, we have a slight difference. We have a half tone between the sixth and the seventh, and a full tone between the seventh and the eighth. We have decided to apply the major scale intervals, so we have to put a sharp on the F, so that we get half, uh, one full tone between the sixth and the seventh grade, and half tone between the seventh and the eighth, the octave. And as you see, uh, applying the, the major scale intervals to the fifth grade, we have now from zero alteration, one alteration, the F sharp. So, this is uh, the fundamentals of the cycle of fifth. If we do the same over and over again, we we will have the complete cycle of fifth, which uh, basically shows us all the possible major scale with the, the, all the alterations. It's usually represented as a circle, as it is a cycle. We start from up here with the C, which has no alterations, and then we start clockwise. Uh, we have the G with the F sharp. It's usually written like this. F sharp, we can time here. Uh, then we have the D, which has two sharps. Just let's be quick. The F and the C. Then we have the A with three sharps. The F, the C, and the G. Then we have the E with four sharps. The F, the C, the G, and the D. Then we have the B, B major, with five sharps. F, C, G, D, and A. And we get here to the, the we have then the uh, F sharp, yes, with six sharps. The F, the C, the G, uh, G, D, A, and the E, and 
C sharp, which has all the seven nodes sharps. Seven sharps. Uh, doing the same backwards, so starting from the C and do it and going one perfect fifth down, since we if we go on this way we'll have uh, tonalities with double sharps or uh, even more. So it's more practical to go down a perfect fifth from the C, we go down to the F, F major, and in this case, we get one flat, uh, the B flat, F major as the B flat, and so on, going down. Uh, we have then B flat, with two flats, B and D, then we have E flat, with three flats, B, E and A, then we have uh, A flat with four flats, B, E, A and D, and then we get to the D flat. We, we notice that D flat and C sharp major are essentially the same scale, so we get here to the D flat, which has five flats, and then we have uh, G flat, which in this case as well is the same as F sharp, G flat, with six flats, and the last one, C flat, which is the same as B, uh, and this has seven flats. Even in this case we could go on, but then we would get double flats and even more, so it's not practical because we would have uh, all, uh, always the same scales just written with more and more flats or sharps. So these are the used uh, scales when writing music. Obviously in the ambit of major diatonic scales uh, we can also see other things like hexatonic scales and uh, all the different kinds of stuff. This is related to the major scales and the natural minor as well. And this is us, our cycle of fifths. Let's do our little thing with the tempo. I'll be playing um, uh, some different uh, kind of notes, starting with the fourths, the, the eighths, uh, triplets, and sixteenths. I have a metronome set at 100 beats per minute. Um, so let's take the guitar for a moment and put it in. Here is my guitar. Okay. Let me just set the. We hear now the fourth.